country has come to Monday Night Raw. Red Hot Cody Jenks, multi platinum songwriter from just up the road in Fort Worth, singer as well. His latest album, Change the Game, releases late next week, March 22nd, and features a single, Outlaws and Mustangs. Welcome, Cody Jenks. Cody Jenks and his son Larson there, big time members of the WWE Universe, obviously loud and heavy from Rick Cody Jenks and hippies and cowboys. Ricochet, or this man, will have to go wire to wire to win the gauntlet. And his opponent representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow Island, J.D. McDonough! J.D. McDonough versus Ricochet to start off the gauntlet match. Will one of these men be the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship by the time we get to Raleigh? North Carolina, North Carolina State University, live next Monday night. So this is how the gauntlet match works. Ricochet will take on J.D. McDonough. The winner of this matchup will advance. The other goes back to the locker room. All six men will compete. The one to run the gauntlet will face Gunther at WrestleMania. And here we go, Ricochet, J.D. McDonough kicking us off here tonight. Now, if either of these two men had to run the gauntlet in its entirety, you would think that would be pretty exhausting. But the Intercontinental Championship is the working man's championship. You got to earn it. J.D. McDonough was very vocal about his 71 as his rating in the WWE 2K24 video game, which is available now. I heard people say it should have been lower. And J.D. McDonough, who said that? You? Uh, a couple boys on the show. The highlight of the night, Ricochet. Going to work on J.D. McDonough and a nice elbow by J.D. Which one? That Stooch, Boston Connor? Oh! It actually was he and Ty Schmidt to talk to Table Shea opinion on J.D. McDonough. But the thing that is undeniable is that Ricochet is must-watch. J.D. McDonough realizes the stakes here. Judgment Day wants, oh, Gunther's Intercontinental Championship. That he will do anything, will sink to any depth to win this gauntlet match tonight. Well, Ricochet will fly to any height. I guess slide to any oh. ground. Woo. Yeah, I like that, Rick. And Ricochet top rope cross body. Oh my goodness, McDonough able to counter. Great counter by J.D. McDonough. What a reversal, the timing, the thought. I did not know J.D. McDonough had that in his bag. Well, J.D. McDonough, one of the most vicious and physical men that you'll ever see. The knees to the midsection of Ricochet. And now J.D. McDonough is on the hunt. That's the thing about Ricochet. He can fly around, but he can certainly get used against him as well. McDonough loves the ground-based attack. Very confident and cocky young man. He's become even more cocky since joining the Judgment Day. Yeah, the Judgment Day are willing to do whatever for each other, which I guess is good to be on the team, but... Oh, nice tilt the world backbreaker. Buckling Ricochet. Cover by McDonough. Two advance and a kick out by Ricochet. The judgment Day has certainly ran this show for a while. Having the Intercontinental title would certainly boost them even more. But what about Ricochet? Ricochet is looking for a reason to be on a marquee. Has all the ability in the world, looking for an opportunity. Here it is. Well, he's been very outspoken as of late. That he's not sure how he feels. He's been thinking a lot about his career. Been trying to do things the right way. Oh, J.D. McDonough strikes him. You can't do that. Ricochet telling Gunther, you better pray that I don't win this gauntlet match. He wants the title back that Gunther took from him 640 days ago. Feels like forever ago. Two men have gone in two completely different directions, obviously, in Gunther and Ricochet. But one gauntlet win for Ricochet, and he's all the way back. J.D. McDonough, a former NXT Cruiserweight champion. Ricochet has won an Intercontinental title, a United States title. He was a North American champion in NXT. He also is... Oh, McDonough just flattens Ricochet. Cover now off the standing moonsault. The kick out at two. McDonough very impressive here in this first matchup of the Gauntlet. The problem is, Pat, the longer this match goes, the tougher it is to run the Gauntlet. Yeah, they're both trying to end this first match as quick as possible, but hate to break the both of them. Off the snap. Suplex a running leg drop by McDonough, who is successfully grounded ricochet great strategy by mcdonough 
McDonough, McDonough's got an interesting look. And I can't trust him just by looking at him, but... You can't trust him by virtue of the fact he's in Judgment Day either. And he was trained by Finn Balor. Oh. Oh. Finn Balor. Oh. He saw what he's willing to do. One of the most dominant Irish champions uh, when he was coming up through the ranks. Ricochet. Oh, there's that springboard elbow by Ricochet. Catches McDonough right in the nose. Those are some of the things that Ricochet could do that nobody else on earth can do as well as he. He needs to keep doing that. Now the highlight of the night. Look, turn things around. Human joystick to the top. Watches him top rope cross body. Ricochet connected that time, but still, you see him favoring his ribs ever since the knees to the ribs. Moonsaw off the ropes, and again, McDonough got the knees up for the ribs. And J.D. McDonough looking to put Ricochet away. Brainbuster cover for the win here. Ricochet kicks out. Ricochet saw his opportunity flash before his eyes. Moonsault from the middle rope. J.D. McDonough reverses yet again. J.D. McDonough looking to connect with what he calls the devil inside to put Ricochet away and advance into the next match in the gauntlet. Ricochet won't be disrespected, though. And I'm not sure McDonough wanted to do that because it... He woke up Ricochet a little. Exactly. Smacked some life back into Ricochet. Trading blows. Well placed kick by Ricochet. Oh, my God! And what a match. McDonough and Ricochet bringing it all here in the gauntlet match. Who has the possibility to go to WrestleMania?